Go ahead. You are listening to the Bahoma Podcast. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you. Ready. Sure. No. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> well, let's do this anyway. Hi, we're the Vahoma Podcast, episode 35, the annual podcast, apparently. <laughs> I'm Tim Abbott. With me is Andrew Smith. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, that, that was, I found it funnier than it should have been. Sorry. Uh, AKA Brett, aka Bert. Sure. Uh, yeah, we'll go I with that. I don't know what to say. second drinks, by the way. <laughs> and we're, we're all out of whack here. And Chris Mason. Hello, hello. Uh, so on this annual podcast, because apparently we don't record for 10 months at least, uh, we're going to basically talk about what we've played in the past year. I don't get 10 months. Oh, right. Sorry. Agent M is actually at the table. Off I'm not screen. used to you staying at the table. So say hi. I say hi, but I'm not sure that you'll hear me. I can hear you. Say hi. Hi. There we go. Uh, we're going to talk about what we played, and basically, our since it, we're right here at the new year, uh, our New Year's resolutions, like gaming related situation. So, gaming or social media wise, I don't know if like Andrew might want to stream more. <laughs> I'll try. Okay, so we know that's going to not be the case. Uh, so, uh, usually I start with Brett because he usually doesn't play the, the least amount of all of us. So, Brett, go ahead. Okay, so uh, I went back and watched last year's <laughs> episode <laughs> to uh, find out what I was playing at the time, and apparently I was playing Shadow of the Tomb Raider, the third installment of the reboot of the Tomb Raider series, and uh, I beat that. Uh, that's actually the only game I've beaten in the last ten months. Uh, that's more than me. It was really? yeah. again. Uh, oh. I think I was say I was saying it uh, in the last episode. That last episode that it was a great game, and uh, it it really is like the the whole three, the uh, whole three um, new games out of the reboot. Uh, they're they're really good, and um, highly recommend them. Uh, I really can't remember a whole lot about Shadow of the Tomb Raider because it was so long ago. <laughs> is that the that's the third one? That's right? the third one. Rise yeah. is the second one. Right, the first one was just Tomb Raider. Correct. Yes. Okay. Um, but, uh, yeah, I highly recommend them. Um, let's see, what else have I been playing? Uh, Shocker, Formula One 2019 came out at the end of June, so I've been playing that. I assumed that. you would buy that one and it. Play is, it is, uh, hands, uh, I haven't played all the games since Codemasters started putting them out in 2010, uh, but it is hands down the best one that I've played so far. Uh, if you like structured points racing, I highly recommend that. Um, the online community is probably not that great. Like, it's not... There's not, like, a whole lot of people playing it, obviously. Uh, and it's more internationally popular than it is domestically, uh, you know, United States popular. Again, shocker. But uh, you can, like, you can get online. You can sign up for racing leagues. If you really want to do it, you can go join a racing league that races every week if you want. Um, I'm not that skilled at that game, but, uh, it's actually probably a game that would be, it's best played on a wheel, some kind of a wheel system. Uh, gamepad is a lot harder to do, which is what I have. So I stay off the offline, or stay off the online stuff. Um, <laughs> let's see, what else have I been playing? Uh, Agent M and I have almost gotten all the way through, she's actually beat it, um, but we've almost gotten all the way through Overcooked 2 together. Uh, I got four boards left i think and then probably the boss battle at the end so uh overcooked 2 super fun party game pick it up play it thank me later <laughs> um let's see what you else can find a playthrough of overcooked one on the youtube channel youtube.com slash the home podcast <laughs> uh okay we did, um, we did a let's play of it there, that one yeah. time then uh agent m and i also played 
a couple of levels of the Gears of War 4 campaign. I am not a Gears of War fan. Um, but uh, it was actually... It, it, it was alright. I liked it <laughs> I liked it better than the first three. You'll like it better than what we played. Okay. Uh, so, once we beat Overcooked, she and I, have, I've already told her, is like, once we beat Overcooked, I would like to jump into that and get knock that out of the way, too. Um, Gears of War 4 is a definitely a more co-op than the previous three. Were. Okay. I think the third one was the best co-op. Put your mic towards you. The third one was the best co-op out of the first three, but this one outdid that one. The um, the only reason I beat the first three was because my brother and I were playing at split screen co-op. That's the only reason. And then we started playing horde mode with you guys. and mm. yeah, Horde mode's fun. <laughs> I, like horde uh, mode. I haven't tried horde mode on four. And the only reason I actually have four is because it was free with gold. So... Mm. Um, we played it together I when mean, I played it, like you know, the first time it came out. Maybe once, once. but I mean, we played like the <laughs> campaign, and then you never came back to it. I know we did horde together, like one time. And there's the finger point. <laughs> I knew it was coming at some point. <laughs> uh, anyway, and let's see. I got Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Is that what it's called? Correct. Uh, <laughs> I got that for Christmas, and as, I've, as did I. I, uh, after three days of trying to download it to my Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that took a long time. Um, I oh. finally got to play it. And, uh, you know, I've been jumping into the multiplayer. I have not played a multiplayer really since I played some Destiny 2 multiplayer. And then I really haven't played a multiplayer like hardcore <laughs> since Destiny 1. So it was a while ago. Um, so I definitely want to say that, uh, this latest Call of Duty is like the first one I've like dug into for a while because the maps are like the past couple of Call of Duties is like you have a lane here to shoot people, yeah. a lane here, a lane here, yeah. And now there's like actually like open maps so you can mm-hmm. like so it's not like you're just peeking around. Oh, I can already tell you now though the the Europe map or whatever that has the double decker buses, the one that's like a oh yeah that side. one that map sucks. Piccadilly, yes, yeah, Piccadilly it's the worst. sucks. It is the worst. It's even worse than um, Shipment, which is the one where you're in the no, container. Shipment is. Shipment's a classic. Don't, don't ship- talk blasphemy about shipment. I will talk. Shipment, I like you, shipment, shipment, you spawn in and just hold the trigger. That's all you got to do. No, right? you spawn in and throw, throw a grenade. grenade and throw a grenade. <laughs> I'm you just got sure. angry. You got Andrew extremely angry by talking bad about shipment. But shipment is like you say. Shipment's a mainstay for Call of Duty. Like you don't go in it for to expect to have a good game <laughs> to, to, to improve your kill death ratio. It's not going to well, happen. Out, yeah, that's true, but. It's aggravating. But anyway, anyway, so I've I been. Know in, people like it. I just that's my two cents. Yeah, I've been. Uh, I've been enjoying the multiplayer. Some, you know, I've been sucking some games and doing pretty decent the other games. Uh, I actually won a free for all match. It was the sixth match I ever played, and I won it. So I was pretty. I'm gonna tell you now. Once you when you go to get on next time, or text me or something like that. And we'll, okay. Can so do that's that. crossplay. Oh, that's yeah. I haven't that's tried right. the multiplayer yet. I played like. I'm on the first, like the second or third mission, on the campaign, just to get myself more familiar with the uh, the guns and the gameplay. Because mm-hmm. the previous Call of Duty, the was it World War Two one? Yeah, that one I actually enjoyed a lot more than I thought. Well, I Black would. Ops Four would technically be the previous. Well, one. not yeah, not Black Ops Four. Screw Black Ops Four. Um, <laughs> it's the, the one. I didn't even that. try Black Ops Four. No, I mean Black Ops is. You know, let's let's have some kind of all the augmentation, all the extra stuff. I'm like, it basically was uh, was it Apex Legends? It is basically what it reminds me of. It's ridiculous. It's not Call of Duty. It's something else. It's like, um, what was that one with the mechs? Titanfall. Titanfall. It that it's what it felt like to me. That that one, the World War, um, the, the, was it the World at War uh, one. That World actually, huh? It was it World War Two? It was just World War Two. Just World War Two. Yeah. That one I played more multiplayer and enjoyed playing the multiplayer in that one because it felt like the guns were balanced. It felt like, okay, you might know the map better than I do, but I still have a fighting chance. Mm -hmm. Whereas Black Ops 4 was a little bit more like that. So this one, I haven't tried the multiplayer, but it sounds like it's like uh, you were saying. It's fairly balanced. It sounds a lot more balanced. Like I do, like I said, they do a balancing. Now, granted, the 725 shotgun was. That was ridiculous when it first came out. There was some shotgun I was getting sniped at. Sniped by. It was the 7.87s? Yeah. yeah. It, it, was, it was basically the 1887s on crack. 
Like, it was worse than the 1887s. Wow. People literally sniping, like, more they, than, it, like, 50 You could feet put a you. sniper yeah. scope on it and snipe somebody with the thing. They have nerfed it, nerfed right. since then, but that shotgun's stupid. Uh, I got but it was one of those where you go, you go, can't beat them, you join them. I've got so I run around with that thing. one bullet before that gun. It's <laughs> crazy. But, anyways. Uh, where was I? Call of Duty. Call of Duty stuff. You're talking about that. I told you. Make sure you message me next. You started time to come back to some Halo Wars with us. Yes, I've been playing some Halo Wars with uh, Chris and Agent M. Um, Agent M and I may have discovered how I can actually contribute to the team and not die right off the bat. Um, I've been playing a lot as Forge because we're playing the um, Halo the first. Or you're the money whore. Yeah, okay. uh, but I've actually <laughs> I've actually figured out how to uh, how to survive. So uh, next time, next time the three of us team up and we start playing some legendary, I might be able to you know actually live, um, and not be the first one knocked out of the game. Well, that's good. So you need to you need to get back, <laughs> you need to get back on it. Um, oh, I'm back on it. I've been on it. We no, we've been on it. <clears throat> Edit that. <laughs> Crap. Ten thirty nine. Agent M said uh, said you haven't been on in like three weeks. Well, that's because she gave me a, a Days Gone, and I've been playing it on PlayStation oh, okay. 4. Oh. And because of the the issues that I was talking about before the podcast, where my oh, schedule yeah. got kind of screwy. Yeah. I, yeah. You some, know, the, one of the crazier things, since our last time we recorded a podcast, I think you got a PS4. <laughs> I was about <laughs> to say, I don't... When, was that, like, after we recorded a podcast? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, a, a friend of mine at work who... A lot has happened in a year. Oh, Taylor? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Taylor has a... Has what I, I, I remember being called a disposable income, so he he got a uh, <laughs> he got a PS4 Pro because this one was just getting loud, mm-hmm. and uh, he graciously let me have it. Asked, asked oh, charging really? everything for it. It's it sounds like it's going to take off. Like mine, I, I I have a similar situation. I bought my friend of works he because he upgraded to a PS4 Pro. That thing sounds like it's going to take yeah. off. <laughs> yes. It's like, so I have closed okay. back headphones on right. and I can, I can hear, hear the But fans. I can't play it without my headphones because I, I have trouble hearing the TV. Exactly. But yeah. it, it still works just fine. And so he was gracious enough to do that. And I got a couple. I've been trying to get like the PS4 exclusives on that. And Agent M was nice enough to give me Days Gone for Christmas. And I've gotten quickly sucked no, into I that. Didn't. Yeah, he did. Or one of you. Either no. you or, or, or <laughs> Agent N. <laughs> gave it to me. So I didn't Agent M or Agent N are the only people that give me games for Christmas. So. I gave you other games. I didn't give you that one. Yeah. Well. Uh, have I been playing anything else? Assassin's Creed. Oh yes. Assassin's Thank you. Creed. What's he playing? Ow. Let me tell you about Mark. some Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Uh, I just said it again. I just. Dang it. <laughs> You might be. I might be saying. <laughs> Let me tell you about some Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which I can't say a whole lot because Agent M hasn't played it yet, and she is a huge yeah, Assassin's Agent Creed. Um, Remind me, uh, Assassin's Creed fan girl, fan person. Um, <laughs> anyway, you've only had one of these drinks. We're all on he two. He hasn't finished his. First he hasn't even finished it. <laughs> anyway, uh, Chris Karma, official drink of the. Oh, oh yes, by the way, these are quite good. You should definitely get you one. Check the um, YouTube channel. There might be a video on how to make oh, it. Oh, okay. I, oh. Might that means i got to make it now. <laughs> yeah, now you have to. Let's anyway. Leap yourself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll make it. Uh, so, uh, Assassin's Creed Origins was uh, pretty darn good, and Assassin's Creed Odyssey just takes it to the next level. Like, this is hands down my favorite Assassin's Creed game, which is weird because does it? Really seem to have it doesn't follow the classic Assassin's Creed label. Oh, not at all. Oh, not at all. It's uh, it's definitely I would pretty much just call it an RPG with the Assassin's Creed label on it, but it's fantastic. It might be, it might be my favorite game ever. Ooh, actually, uh, I have almost two hundred hours into this game and I still haven't even Dang. beat the main story but okay. i must say that like 40 of that is probably me just falling asleep because i work a stupid <laughs> schedule or, or me like putting it in pause and moving on to something else but yeah it it might be my favorite game ever it's okay. gorgeous 
that there's lots of, to explore. There's quests galore, side quests, um, everywhere. It's there's just so much to do. I don't even have any of the DLCs, and they've they release content for people that didn't have DLCs that could continue to do stuff. It, it's fantastic. I, if you like RPGs or Assassin's Creed, it's an RPG Assassin's Creed style. It's amazing. Excuse me. Okay. Woo! Uh, and we're going to come back to what we, like, stuff we plan to play or something like that. Yeah. No, okay. well, New Year's resolutions. New Year's resolutions. New Year's old resolution thing. We'll Got talk it. about, like, what we plan to do for the year. Considering we probably okay. won't record again for until 2021. I was going <laughs> to. Uh, we, we, we are not going to do that. Uh, I did <laughs> get, Hopefully. I did Hopefully get uh, Civilization Six for Christmas as well. I played that for probably, like, three or four hours. Uh... This is the I played Civilization Four on the console. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They put six out on. They the put consoles. really mm-hmm. four. Uh-huh. Four is on the console. Because which... I played Civilization Three on the PC and I really liked it. Well, six is out on the console too. Interesting. Uh, it is like hmm. I thought I would be Wish able I had to have a PC that could run some of this stuff. <laughs> I already promised it to. Me. I, yeah, I know. <laughs> and and my mom gets her hand me downs. <laughs> <laughs> I um. I well, thought upgrade my PC. I'll keep you in mind. Thank you. There we go. Like, Some of us is gonna upgrade. Me and Andrew are single. Yeah, I'm still and on make, a, you know, make I'm money. on a lowly 1080 Ti. I don't have an RTX 2080. Is it oh, a Ti or 2080 Ti? Yeah. Jesus. I have no idea what he just said. <laughs> I have no idea what he just said. Uh, but anyway, computers. <laughs> computers are a very expensive hobby. Uh, but anyway, so um, I played a little bit of uh, Civilization Six. I thought I would be able to pick it up. Pretty easy, considering I played four on the console. No, it's there's it, the the learning curve is a bit steeper than I have time to put into right now, considering that I'm trying to finish Assassin's Creed, Overcooked, move on to Gears, and still play some Call of Duty, around. and then I have a 19 month old. <sighs> 19 months and a kid. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, and I also got for Christmas. I'll just throw this out there. I haven't tried them yet. Uh, Stellaris for the console, made by Paradox Interactive. It is a, it is the first 4H strategy game. Uh, on the console, four ways to win. I'm thinking mm. about like the 4H club. I'm like, <laughs> that's, that's, exactly, that's exactly where I want. I think they call it. 4, I think they call it 4H. I don't know. I was like the game. Four H. I was like. But... There, there's, there's four. There's like four. the one with the cows and stuff. Like you ever milk a cow? It's uh, you, you basically you can like create a star empire, and oh, okay. you need to expand and, and anyway, it, it looks fantastic. It's something. It's a game I have. It's a game type I have wanted for a long time because I love space. I just don't really know anything about it. <laughs> um, yes. Uh, anyway, so I got that for Christmas. Uh, I bought that for myself. And then uh, I also got a game uh, called Railway Empire, which looks pretty good. Oh, it's yeah. a, I know that one. Uh, you start in like 1830 and you're building the railroad network in That's pretty cool. the United States. Mm-hmm. It's not just you. Like there's AI and stuff like that that can get in your way and mess you up. And anyway, yeah. so this is the most I think yeah. we took how long Brett has talked. He's never talked this much. Nope. I'm just like. That's what I'm amazed. This, like, what's is, the time? This is at, we're at Well, you guys minutes. keep interrupting me too. This so it's is not helping. Of the well, thirty, he, you're right. He did interrupt you. Well, the, did, but I, I'm trying to bring it back in because yeah. I'm not trying to It's funny. Just where I'm normally going, you're done by now. It's I know. I go like I'm like you know thirty four episodes. I normally, think if I took every as long as Chris. I Brett played Forza. Talk. Not Forza. I played uh, Formula One, Tomb Raider, and, and something else, and that's about it. But I'm just saying, I was like, it was one of the things where I'm sitting looking. I was like. Yeah, we're going. It's like if I took the amount of time Brett has talked in the previous thirty-four episodes, I'm pretty sure he's talked longer than all of us combined. Maybe. Mm-hmm. So, Maybe. are you good now? Uh, <laughs> have we reached the end? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Andrew. Yeah, that's it. Oh, me. Um. All right. Wake me up when you guys are done. I think I'm trying to think of the quickest ones to go through first. Did I talk? If I talked about Devil May Cry before, you talked about Never Devil Ooh, May Cry in the last okay. episode. Yeah. I like Devil May Cry. That's a really fun. You game. had started it, but you hadn't made it to Dante yet. You talked about breaking the Which motorcycle one? in half. Which one? Talking about five. Hmm. Talking about five. Yeah, Devil May Cry five. Okay, I just got it on Game Pass, so I just I just had started it's it. So much fun. It's 
well, Devil May Cry is always like whatever you want to game, but it's on crack. Like it's yeah. always on crack. Like it's just yeah. so high energy. Yeah, like, and, that, the, and the good thing about this one is that instead of just the button mash, the uh, Nero, that's mm-hmm. his name, right? Yeah. He has his arm. You have different attachments for so you can do a bunch of different moves. You can surf on his arm, which is ridiculous. But <laughs> And there's that, and then there's a character, V, you control like animals or whatever he summons or whatever, which is pretty cool. I so have not gotten this far yet. <laughs> oh, well, you'll, it's, you'll be pretty soon. It'll be like... Yeah, I didn't get too far. I just... When I first got the Game Pass, I started with Devil May Cry 4 just because I enjoyed 4 so much. It was when I first got it. Oh, okay. And then after about a month or two, it left. And then Mm -hmm. that's when they brought Devil May Cry 5. Mm -hmm. But I really enjoyed 4 so much, I was like playing it again. And then, yes, 5 looks good. And I like the fact that they're bringing the characters back from 4. I'm I'm a little confused about the story, but. Oh, the story's BS crazy. (laughs) Yeah. Not like. Well, I can't because he'll give me more work to yeah. do. Yeah. That blank crazy. Thank you. But anyway, um, <laughs> another cool little touch they have is like, uh, like you and V are like supposed to like fighting alongside, not alongside each other, but different paths to like try to get to whatever the objective is. And what it does is that it has like multiplayer. I say that in air quotes because it basically records another player playing. So it's like you as Nero fighting through, and then you can like look over and you see like V just. Summoning things and slashing things. Okay. It's kind of cool. Interesting. Um, the game I want to talk about is Fire Emblem. I don't think I've talked about that. Or That's what a, system? The uh, Switch. It's only... It's a so, Nintendo I'm interested system. to hear this because I just got into the Switch a little bit more. That's right, because you got it for oh yeah, your son. Yeah, Terry has it, and mm-hmm. I, well, I'll get into that later. It's your time. I don't want to monopolize. That's fine. Go ahead. <laughs> um, if you like uh, strategy games like um, Final Fantasy Tactics and that kind of thing like Which turn-based like placing like uh so you have a character over here you need to move over here to flank this character to get more in a, of an advantage of a character or your opponent and there's like different types of weapons or whatever and there's flying things that give you an advantage you can f- travel faster it's a big deep rpg type thing um it can be a little bit a little weebish sometimes because it's like a, it has a little bit of persona stuff to like you're like training your students or whatever. <laughs> weeb? You've never heard the term weeb? No. Anime? Like no. the the, an, the my, anime. My, my, to be like, fair, my anime experience ends at Dragon Ball Z. That's more than me. That's more than me. Too. I, I love know. Dragon Ball Z. Posted, I'm like, I, I kind of finished mine. So. Okay, well, <laughs> well, well, we may have to pause so I can refill. I'm, okay. I'm feeling good right now. Yeah. <laughs> you had an extra two shots in that last one. Oh, you gave me extra. Okay, cool. <laughs> Did you save the mine? You had one more shot. Okay, I can feel it. But anyway. Do I want uh, one? Probably. It's three shots. You had four. You had five. I had eight. <laughs> <laughs> but um, well, I guess I should clarify. Um, I haven't had any more of yours. Yours is three. That's cool. Um, It's a little like... A, I think it would throw the taste off if you added more. Because it, de- it, it tastes perfect right it, there. It depends. Like I said, you, I can't start off that way because you instantly taste how much stronger it is. But it depends on how much orange juice you use. It depends on Sorry, how Andrew. much oh, you're soda fine. you use. I'm not trying to, again, but this is important information. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> the, ratio, the ratio just depends on the, the mixture. <laughs> <laughs> if you're listening to this, we feel great. Like, we feel great just watch, right now. Just watch the YouTube. It's been one. a while since a podcast, okay? So just so we're yeah. having a good time. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah. You're talking Fire about Emblem. Fire Emblem. Yeah. Sorry, I talked too long. No, my bad. Oh, you're anyway, fine. No, we were at Devil May Cry. Actually, um, I guess what I mean by like Weavish is like uh, you're a teacher. You have to like go. It's like take him out to like uh, have it like a lunch break or whatever. And you like mm-hmm. have like a little conversation. I guess Weavish is a little bit too harsh, but um. I know some people didn't like that about the new Fire Emblem, but um, it's just a way to like hey, get stat buffs on your characters. So now, it's like this, you spend more time. Is this with a them retro more. game that was for the Switch, or is this a new game designed for? Well, the, the Fire Switch? Emblem series has been around since like the right. Game Boy I know there's like different ones. So the one you're talking about is this a this new one Switch. for the Switch? It okay. came out this year. Gotcha. It came out like during the summer sometime. Yeah, I remember that. But, big um, deal when it came out. It's a uh, supposedly the story's very good. I've played about ten hours deep into it. Um, I don't want to go any further, like, story-wise or anything, but it definitely scratches that itch. Um, How does it compare to, like, a Final Fantasy game? 
Uh, to be honest, I haven't really played that much Final Fantasy. Uh, okay. Because um, honestly, the only time I, the, when I start playing board games, I start looking at these other uh, like tactics games. I'm thinking of like these are just like board games. You're like you take a turn, see what your opponent does, you adjust or whatever. So I've been playing those games a lot more, and I've actually been interested in like playing some of the older Final Fantasies because of that. But um, uh, it's a very good tactics game. Um, what else did I play? Control. Has anybody else played Control yet? Oh, I did. I played like the first hour. That uh, game is cool. Um, it's the people that made Quantum Break. So Remedy it's teams together game. to make uh, Max Payne and um, Ooh, Max Payne. Now you talking my language? So they made Max Payne. They made Alan yeah, Wake. Um, and then they made um, Quantum Break, which Quantum I Break. think one you of you played? still technically has. Technically, I still have it. It's, it's me. I borrowed it. Yeah. And Asian, then, uh, did you play Quantum Break? I think someone else around here played Quantum yeah. Break. Yes, I borrowed it and I played it. Or did you borrow it from me? I borrowed it from you. Yeah, I borrowed, you it, borrowed from Tim, it from Tim. And then you borrowed it from me. And I played it. <laughs> I played it one way, and then I went back and played it the using the opposite choices for every option. Oh really? So I could get both sides of the story, and I got all one hundred. Uh, Oh, yeah, that sounds about right. That's one of the that sounds like some Asian M with exactly recently. Uh, but it's that same uh, developers that made Quantum Break made that game. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess since uh, some of you don't know the uh, basis of that game is that um, you're there's a secret organization in the government. It's like the uh, Bureau of uh, crap. I forget the name of it, but it's basically like all the Vesky's paranormal stuff. And they have this like building that uh, the main character goes into. And she's going there to confront their people there because her brother went missing. This isn't like a spoiler or anything. It's pretty evident in the first uh It's like the very play. first thing you find, find out about the game. Yeah, her brother's missing and they know that these people know where he went. So she goes there. Um, it's a very atmospheric game. Um, you'll see it in the trailers, but there's like you get cool telekinesis powers and one of the cool things is you have like a gun that like sh- is one gun but it like shifts into different forms so it's kind of cool to watch that um i recommend just like watching the trail because it's very atmospheric um it's kind of spooky it uh definitely uh with headphones on it's definitely uh I don't want to say intense but it's definitely a very special uh game when it comes to like uh atmosphere yeah, and stuff like that Know the control. control. Make sure you already know about it. Okay, well, you, you need to make sure we keep notes on this because I didn't know. It's a. This. It's <laughs> honestly, it's a fun. It came part. out in August. If you played Quantum Break, it's not unfamiliar from uh, that because you get uh, powers as you go along. Um, then you'll come across things of like a. It's funny because they call these things like uh, objects of power, but it's like you come up and it's just a floppy disk and it gives you a new power. And like somehow the it's like a parallel universes and it gets kind of weird like that, but that's the kind of stuff I like. But um, there's that control. Um, I think Tim, you mentioned you probably have a lot of questions about the game that probably blew up recently on Twitch, Escape from Tarkov. Escape from Tarkov, yes. Um, that game confuses me. Like it's just yeah, it's of, like, like I don't understand like the purpose the of pur- it the purpose of the premise of it kind of thing like I, it, every time i pop in they're in the middle of something mm. so i never seen like anyone ever describe the the initial prep at the beginning because it looks like it's a bunch of squares and you're <laughs> and it's, it's like a, a puzzle a game to figure out inventory how to put your... management um what uh, escape from tarkov is the first person shooter and the object is pretty much you start out with very little like options or like weapons and stuff and you're supposed to go into raids which is basically, well, let me set up the fiction. It's like a, a collapsed like area in Russia that is just has just free stuff and you want to go and raid it or whatever and get, get the more guns and stuff like that. Um, it's a tries to be very realistic into the point where you, when you reload your gun, if you're out of bullets in that magazine, you manually pull in one bullet at a time in the, in the magazine. Oh. Um, there's a very complex health system to where like each part of your body has like you have a total health pool, but like your arm has sixty like say like sixty health. And if you take sixty health from this and it then turns black, like which means there's you can't heal it anymore, your health pool goes down, so you're that much more vulnerable. There's a complex like gun modding system and physics system, there's like armor and stuff you can put on. And there's a whole like pen penetration system, like damage of that versus like hitting flesh or whatever. Yeah, this, this sounds like too much for me. 
It probably is for this group. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, it's just. Uh, I mean, it sounds like fun, but it, it sounds like you would specifically want it. Yeah, it's it's yeah. blowing up on Twitch a lot. Like, in just less, like I think, like, well, it's also this morning, I think Tim the Tent Man and Dr. Lupo, and then we're all playing it. And then yeah. um, Shroud was playing like a year ago. Yeah, Shroud's, Shroud's, Shroud. Shroud's been playing for a while, but um, the basic premise is to go in, kill, like, AI. And then the thing about, well, I should, should mention that before, but like when you load into like a raid where we have a ha- about an hour, you have AI uh, enemies running around like patrolling, but you have other players that are trying to like get loot. So it's sort of like a battle royale, but it really isn't because you can bring your own loot in. Um, basically, the premise is so if you get in, killed, can you lose your loot? You yeah. lose everything. Okay. Unless you insure it. The thing is, there's like an insurance system. Where if players don't pick it up, you'll get it back about a day later. So it's a so it's not as painful if you have like if you're starting out. Most higher end players aren't probably gonna want your gun because it's not a kind of gun they want, so you're probably gonna get it back for armor and stuff like that. This is all just on PC, by the way. But um, the premise is you go and get loot, you get out, and uh, there's a quest. There's actually like a quest system to actually like give you like direction. So uh, it's not it's not just go in here kill things and get stuff. But we have a cat in the bag over there. He leaned in and put his head in, and then he fell in, and then he <laughs> fell out the side. <laughs> but uh, I know that's a lot of information on a video game, but uh, that's about yeah. all I can think of. Okay, it's a uh, fun game. Oh, and the weapon system like you can mod the crap out of almost any gun. Which is like very fun for like a technical person if you like to mess with things like you can go as far as to change out the gas block in an assault rifle for like so you can put other things on it. But um that's pretty much it. Okay. Uh so I'll talk about what I've been playing real quick. So I went through my thing. I, I did when I talked about I uh the last episode I talked about where I started eye racing. Um but I did do a lot of that. I haven't played it in a few months. But one of the things that was kinda of fun we did um my group, we did a 24-hour race, which was a legit 24-hour Le Mans, which we actually played. It was real 24 hours. We started at 8 p.m. and went to 8 p.m. the next day. 8 what p.m. kind of cars were you guys? Oh, we were in the... Were we in the Mazda? I think we were in the Mazda or GT. Okay. Um, and so we had shifts. So it was like we'd drive for two hours, and then you would pit and like fuel up and change out gas and stuff along those lines, and then you'd get out of the car, and the next driver would get in and complete the race. So we so all you could like do that with like within the game you yeah. trade off. That's actually in the cool. game you do like a thing where you hit a button, you get out, of the, and then your teammates get in That's and drive cool. for you. So you really were you you weren't on for twenty four hours. No, but it was I did like I did yeah I did like two two hour shifts, um, and then so it was fun. We actually completed it. We actually survived the full twenty four hours, which was big. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was cool. Um, we. I played Friday the Thirteenth Killer Puzzle. I yeah. don't know if I talked about that or not, but it's is a, that the one that's like uh, Dead by Daylight? No, Friday the Thirteenth Killer Puzzle is like it's a legit, it's a puzzle game where it's literally oh. you are Jason, and your whole goal is to kill all the campers, and so it's but it's a square grid, and so you press a button, he'll slide down to like a certain thing, and so you got to like find a way to kill all the campers in a certain way without being um, taken on stuff like that. Agent M would love it because she loves puzzle What's games. That on PC? Yep, it's free on Steam. You would there like it. I know I have a Steam account. Um, I've played the golf club, so shocker, a golf game. Yeah, I saw you doing that. I've played a crap ton of that. It's been really fun. But I just put on Boy Meets World over here on one's computer screen and watch Boy Meets so World random. while I'm playing uh the golf club. <laughs> Why Boy Meets um, World? Just because just because like... it's a stream show thing, and I have Disney Plus, so it's just you choosing that. Oh really? I didn't know that. Um, <laughs> so then it did Ring of Elysium, uh, which is basically another battle royal game. I did that right at the beginning of the year. I hate that game now. Um, oh, they mess it up somehow. It's just it's not fun. It, the only thing I like about it is where you can pull out a bike and like ride to your next generation. Like you always have a to go vehicle on you. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I played a game called. So you have a horse pocket, basically. Okay. Um, I played a game called Splitgate, which is a game called. It's basically Halo and Portal combined. The guns are all Halo gunplay. Yeah, I played the. But you have portals and stuff. Portal. It's a free game too on PC. That one's a lot of fun. Oh, it's out out now. Yeah. It's okay. officially been out for the last couple of months. Uh, I played a game called House Flipper, which is basically like HGTV, where your whole goal is to like 
do odd end jobs of like cleaning people's houses and painting walls and stuff to make money to then buy homes and then remodel them and resell them to make money. It's stupidly fun. <laughs> and then I played PUBG and Fortnite. That actually does sound fun. It was a lot of fun. Which is weird. Uh, and then I played PUBG and Fortnite. Shocker. I played oh, I forgot to play too much time with PUBG. I've also played PUBG and Rocket League. Yeah. Shockers. <laughs> All right, Chris, you're go, and I'm going to use the restroom while you record. Wow. Where do I begin? Oh. <laughs> well, I've been holding on to this thought for a little bit, for, so I want to make sure I don't lose it. Um, Road to Eden. Mutant as your... Mutant. I've been watching that game. Oh. You need to download it. Because it looks interesting. It's on Game Pass. So oh. somebody... Uh, Tim was kind enough to get me a Game Pass, and I have used it to its fullest extent. It's really an awesome um, service. I really didn't think I would enjoy it as much as I have, but I became a believer very quickly in it. And that game is very much what you were just describing. It is a tactical game. Mm -hmm. um, nothing like I thought it was, because in the uh, previous year before it's released, like a year or two years ago, it has a cinematic trailer. And it looks the cinematic. Tra it was on. Yeah, I watched it. It was yeah. like a year ago when they. Like, yeah, the cinematic the trailer looks amazing, but the yeah. cinematic trailer has nothing to do with the actual gameplay. The gameplay is you have a map, and it's a grid-based map like you're mm -hmm. talking about, and you have different weapons, different armor, but where you are on the map determines on what your action is. So you can either hide, you can defend, or you can attack. Once you attack, then others are l alerted. But mm -hmm. if you're up high, um, you have you do more damage if you're versus if you're down low. Mm -hmm. So where you are strategically um, makes a big difference on how it is. And I real this is a game that I beat start to finish on Game Pass, and nice. it took me a while because it was one of those that was it got to a point where it was a challenge. Like every level, I went back and. There's no grind to it. There's only X amount of enemies. They don't respond. Mm. Um, there's only X amount of items, again, that don't respond. So there's no there's no grind to it. Yeah. But there are enemies where you can actually go around and never fight, mm -hmm. which, you know, I'm a typical player that I kill everything, move forward. Kill everything, move forward. Well, mm. you can't do that in this game because some of them are a little bit more overpowered. Mm. But I would come back because you get experience for doing all that. But it was, it's interesting because you have up to, I think, five different... You have three players in your party, but you gain five players at some point. Um, each character you can upgrade with different abilities, but it's a give and take. Like, if you upgrade them, you're only going to be able... And you can upgrade weapons, you can upgrade armor, and you give those different things to different people, or to different characters who have different abilities. And, like, I played the game one way about the first half with what it gave me, and then I gained a couple more characters and got a little bit more familiar with it and went with a different strategy for like the remainder half. Mm -hmm. And it was like, you know, you just got to have a good run. Like you can run away, you can hide, and then like they might chase you down or there might be an enemy on the field that's a med bot that will re res enemies mm -hmm. that you've taken like the last 30 minutes to destroy. Oh, wow. And so, you know, like med bots would be like something you would want to take out first and mm -hmm. foremost. But I highly recommend if you like that strategy kind of game, which, you know, it, it very much sounds like what you were just describing with Fire yeah. Emblem. So mm -hmm. as much as I'm kind of now interested in Fire Emblem, I highly recommend that I, game. Well, I keep an eye on that game. It's just a game that I've been keeping an eye on but never really decided to get yet. It's, I mean, depending on, there's there's DLC for it. And again, I didn't pay anything for it because it was on Game Pass, mm -hmm. and that's the only reason I downloaded it. I'll probably the same way now that I know that. But it absolutely was worth it. Like, like, and if the, it was like fourteen ninety nine for the the DLC, and I'm like, I really want the DLC. I really enjoyed the game, but I'm like, I'm not gonna pay fourteen ninety nine for this DLC because mm -hmm. it's just extra maps and more of what I've already done. So I'm like, well, I mean, I'll enjoy it, but I won't enjoy it fourteen ninety nine worth. <laughs> but <laughs> definitely recommend that game. Is it like a open? world type thing or is it like like no, fire emblem is very like, much a mission it's like you're on a no, mission this is, you you know, this is this. very mission okay. now like so it starts off with an uncovered map and then like it gives you your mission is to go from here to here okay but when you get here you have an option when you get to this area there's there's three different outlets well the mission takes you to outlet on the right but there's outlet on the left and outlet in the middle if you, and you can go that oh. route but chances are they're 
there are enemies that are way too strong because you're not meant to go that way. Uh, so, so basically, it gives you like a little area to play around with for that mission. Exactly, and there's and there's a few I- there's items on the field like you can go find those items and then come back, mm-hmm. and that's what I did a lot of times. With, you know, because and you can see how strong the enemies are, so you don't have to encounter them mm-hmm. um, to find out and die. But it's mm-hmm. you know, like so I, I like. There's skull and crossbones there. I'm like, oh, these things are level thirty. I'm a level twenty. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Yeah. I'm not gonna win. There's a giant robot over here in the corner. I'm like, you don't have to fight the giant robot ever, but you get mad experience for defeating mm-hmm. the robot. And like, if you can catch behind, like if you catch an enemy off guard, if you catch him behind, like there's different abilities. A lot, very subtle. It's not really complex at all, mm-hmm. but very subtle in the nuances. And once you get the game rules, it's like it makes it so much more fun. Like I enjoyed it, learning it. But once I figured out how to play it, I enjoyed it even more because I found myself doing exactly what the game wants you to do. I'm like, I'm, I'm okay. I'm going to hide behind this tree, wait for an enemy to get to this point. Then I'm going to position this character here, position this character here, make my move, try to knock this guy out. And then, you know, just like I said, an hour passes and you're, and you're, you're setting stuff up <laughs> mm-hmm. and, you're, yeah. and you're trying to, to go on because so many times I died because this enemy set off an alarm because I didn't kill him. Because mm-hmm. I can, if I don't kill them in three, because I get, I get three goes, I get my go for each character, mm-hmm. and then if he's still alive, he's gonna set the alarm off. So I'm like, if I can't kill him, it's not worth it because he's gonna call like five other guys in, and then it just makes a whole lot of yeah. problems that I'm gonna run into. So highly recommend it. Like I said, Andrew, you would right. probably, you would really enjoy it. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, it's got I'm a little, I want to say one little thing real quick before we move on to the next game. I came back from the restroom. And you kept, I kept waiting to be like, what game is you guys talking about? And you kept saying, this game is really great. This game I like about this. You would like this game. And, and I'd be like, what, keep waiting cool for somebody thing, to say the title of the game. The cool thing about this game is that, like, aren't the characters, like, anamorphic yeah, pigs there's, and ducks? Yeah, like, it's a duck. Say it? What is the heck of the name of the game? You still have Road to Eden, him. Mutant it's, X. You're saying uh, it in mutant. the wrong order. What is it? <laughs> I'm looking at your achievements right okay, now. Okay, what is it? It's Mutant Year Zero. Mutant Year Zero. Road, Road to Eden. Eden yes. yes. If well, I had a thousand guesses, I would have never <laughs> guessed. Yeah, your character is... Zero. There's two characters that are humanoid. Um, there's a duck, there's a warthog, and uh, somebody else. I forget. I've seen... Problem. I know the cover now that you said... Now I know well, the name we, we, of the game. Well, we led into it was like what caught my attention about this game was we've watched the animation sequence like a year or two ago, and it was like one of the top like animation sequences like for previews but the animation sequence did or opening, opening did nothing about like what the game is like an isometric tactics type thing like fire emblem oh i would have never thought that exactly well that well i downloaded it because of the trailer i had no idea what i was downloading and then it was you know it was on game pass so i tried it and i've beaten that's the only game i've start and finished on game pass because i enjoyed it so much mm-hmm. what which Rage? one oh uh, no you didn't beat Rage? I beat Rage, but Rage wasn't on Game Pass. Yes, it was. Rage 1 or 2. It's 2. Rage I gave you 2 for Christmas. 2 is on Game Pass. 2, two. I haven't started it. Yeah, you 2 got, is now on Game Pass. Oh, I forgot you did one on Game the two Pass. 2 other games I forgot to mention. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I did. Oh, Rage, yeah, yeah I here's, did. Here's all the games you Okay, played. fine. Thank you for making my list, Agent M. Oh, Outer Worlds really good. Exactly what you'd okay. expect. Okay, well, I didn't... My I turn. Yes. I'll let you Outer guys Worlds. have a moment with a cat yes, during my segment. Yes. So... I'm, th- I'm going through my Game Pass list first. And I Outer flew Worlds. through my games because I had to use the restroom really bad. Yeah, the, Outer uh, Worlds was another good one. I drank two of these. and There will be a third here. I'm feeling that shot, that extra shot just by now. By just saying. Outer Worlds was the next game I'm that I really enjoyed either. on there because it was very open world, very spacey. Um, I haven't finished it yet, but that's because I've spent a lot of time on like the first several planets just exploring. Yeah, that's one of those, I'm like, looking forward to starting time. that. I actually did download it because I have to they're, see they're not, PC. They're not gargantuously big, so they're definitely yeah. feasible. It's not like Skyrim or something where you just keep going on and on. It There is an end to each one, but I've definitely enjoyed finding and fighting a lot of the enemies. I'm like, save often. I would <laughs> recommend it's very, that. This is a very funny game, too. Like, There's a lot of wit and humor in that game, too. Yes, yes, it is. Um, Rage was a good game um, that is nothing more than gameplay. The story is horrid, horridly bad. <laughs> I had heard that. It's, it's just a post-apocalyptic, but the gunplay in it's fun. Um, that, that's what brought me back. Into, John Goodman, randomly, is a voice in it. Don't ask me Wait, how or why. I played that game, and I've didn't... He, he, um, he was the, like the, in the first town, the guy that 
Oh, you know who I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, now that exactly I just said it. About. Like, that's John Goodman. I was like, of course, it's been <laughs> right. years since Speaking of random voice actors, Sean Bean narrates Civilization, Civilization VI. I can actually kind of see that. And I was listening to it, and I was like, I swear that's Sean Bean. That makes sense. Also. And then I had to look it up, and it actually was. So, all right, carry on. I want to say something that's also really random. Brett stopped talking at the 19 minute mark, talked again at the 44 minute mark. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, continue. Um, other than that, um, Sniper Elite 4 has been a really fun game. Have not beat on the Game Pass, but Sniper Elite 4 was, it, is very much for me. Like, you don't have to. You can bruise your way through the, to the objective, or you can do like I do, which is go around the entire map, do every objective, and kill every single person, and blow up. Missions that give yes, and do and blow up every single vehicle because it's experience blowing up vehicles. And that takes about three hours exactly. per mission. <laughs> you, exactly, <laughs> but it's fun. Oh my god, it's so much fun. I, f- I find like I did that the same. I did the same way until I got to like the last like mission or two, and I was like, I got to beat this game. Because I went kind of like I went like it. I went like two or three months without even touching it, so I was like, I just want to beat the and game. And it's actually so very did. easy to bruise your way through it. it. I'm like, it's not that difficult. Like if it's I want fu- it, it's fun either way. Yeah, it's, it's fun, fun either, either way. way. Like there's times where I'm like, okay, I've just set the alarm off and I'm not gonna reset the game for the thirtieth time. I'm just gonna bruise my way through. Yeah. But you get that one and you get to go through and do it. Um, I beat Crackdown three, um, which was a lot Crackdown of fun. That came out this year. Crackdown three is a lot of so fun. Last year. Is that on Game Pass? Crackdown 3 yeah, is also yeah. on Game Pass. Um, As you can I'm, tell, we are a proponent for Game Pass. I I have become a believer. I definitely enjoyed that. Um, played some Sea of Thieves with Tim. I was, I was like, you know, I realized I didn't say Sea of Thieves. And also, as you're talking about Game Pass, I was like, was Sea of Thieves this year? I think Sea of Thieves was this year. Sea of Thieves was this year. I just went into his achievements <laughs> and, started and making just a made list. a list of everything I'm, he's got. I'm, I'm, pulling out, I'm pulling out my achievements and like so be like, oh, look, yeah, it was Sea of Thieves this was this year. Um, sea of Thieves was a lot of fun. I've I downloaded. Need to uh, I need to reinstall it. I downloaded World War Z, which is uh, very much, uh, what is the game? Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead. Thank you. It is exactly what it, and I never really was a big player of Left 4 Dead, but I know people who played it enjoyed it a lot. <sighs> Left but if you like Left 4 Dead, World War Z is definitely up your alley. I keep seeing it go on sale on Epic Game Pass, and I just keep or Epic Game Epic Store, games. Epic Game Pass, <laughs> Epic Game Epic Store, Steam Game Pass, Epic, Epic Steam, Steam Game, game Pass, pass. <laughs> uh, the Game uh, Epic Game Store, and I was like, "Ooh, do I get that?" And I was like, mm, I don't know. "Is that exclusive to the Epic Game Store?" Yeah. Okay. It's not on Steam right now. I just didn't know where to, where to buy it. Yeah. What else did I play? I also played, uh, downloaded Diablo three. You added one oh. shot extra to my drink, and that's just I'm. It's amazing. I like how okay. you say, "What else did I play?" And it's literally like, in this list right okay. here. How do you like Diablo? You pretend. I we played it on the three hundred and sixty, mm-hmm. and I enjoyed it when we played it. It was actually me, um, Agent M, and Torched that played mm-hmm. it, and then we stopped playing it, never came back, then moved on to the Xbox One, and then I saw it on sale, very cheap for Christmas around the Christmas time. For, with all the DLC with it, like mm-hmm. Game of the Year kind of edition. And so I started playing that again. I've, I'm back into it again, but uh-huh. I just haven't... I've gotten to about to the point where we stopped playing, but I just... There's a lot of dungeons, you know. And I, there's a lot to that game, especially now before, because I played when it first came out on PC. Have, there's a bunch of friends that I have, like PC friends or whatever. That sounded weird, sorry. Anyway... <laughs> um, <laughs> Not politically correct friends, it's just friends that play on PC. Um, but yeah, anyway. So yeah, and uh, when I got the Necromancer with the pack with it. So I started the game, then I restarted it a second time with as a Necromancer character. So I started like I think as a pal, not a paladin, but a, as the the knight guy. Mm-hmm. And I'm really liking the Necromancer abilities. That one's fun because so, I played around with that. Yeah, I, I'm really enjoying that. So I'm kind of leveling it up. I haven't. I asked Agent M to get it, but I was like, I don't know if we're going to end up playing it together. But I'm enjoying playing that. I didn't work the night shift. I played with you guys. <laughs> um, so Diablo three. As I mentioned before, I got called. I got several games for Christmas, but the only ones I, I started playing. Call of Duty Modern Warfare, like I said, not much to report on that, although... Oh, I played that too, dang. I'm I'm hopeful for it. <laughs> we it, talked about it, like, not even 20 <laughs> minutes ago. Yeah, I just it didn't include it in my list, so I just... It, I played that a lot, and it's like... The one nice thing about Call of Duty, like, with Modern Warfare and stuff, is the fact that, like... Like, we talked about earlier, like, off-stream was... Or off-stream. 
off podcast. Jesus We're Christ, here. I am not all here. So we need a, you need shots, another drink. Is what I'm you doing mean? great. How many shots total have you? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, whatever Chris has done for me, I don't. Seven? Seven? That's, okay. yeah, that explains a you lot. You said right I only have one. Okay. Well, well, it's, a, lot right a basic drink is three shots. Okay, so I was two uh, rum, and then one and triple, triple sec. sec. Okay, and you had three, then you had four. Yeah, you I've... had three, then you had five. All right, so we're doing great. Mm-hmm. Um, but but nice... he's also bigger than you. Yeah, sure. And, and uh, the nice... I'm bigger than all of you. Yeah, they so, and my tolerance hitting. is nothing. So, so the, these the, the, anyway. the nice thing we were talking about, like off podcast of the. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> is uh, the fact of like, like the best game gun in the game, at least before I stopped playing and stuff. I was like, I haven't played in the last like two months. Was the M4, which is like you unlock at, like level five. So it's nice that the like the best gun in the game you get it's as balanced. like your first gun. And that's what I'm, I'm seeing. Like, you so start far, unlocking I'm all these other games it. and stuff, and you'll always come back to the M4 as your main like primary AR. I use the AUG in the Car 98. So oh, I got. I really, I'm not gonna lie. I got kind of giddy because. I saw the AUG in, mm. in, the, in, the, in the campaign, and I'm like, it has flashbacks. Cause I haven't seen the AUG since the original Modern Warfare. I'm like, mm. and that was one of my favorite guns. It's a great weapon in PUBG. Yep. You know, so I, I got really excited that it seems, it feels very much like that Modern Warfare. Mm-hmm. I know it's not going to be, but I'm like, so far, I'm like, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Then you can load up to 5.56 five, so it does more damage later. Yeah. More bullet pen. You get a longer barrel. So it's basically a mini AR, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a. So, I'm um, what Call of Duty do, but I was like, I've loved Call of Duty so far. Yeah. Yeah, I've got like three more games. I've been kind of busy actually with it now that I'm, I'm talking about it. Uh, other than, of course, Halo Wars, keep coming back to Halo Wars and I give mad love and props to Halo Wars, the original Halo Wars, Definitive Edition. Love it. Um, that's my go to game. Days Gone, I got for Christmas and I've gotten sucked in very quickly to that game for the PS4. It's very, if you like Horizon Zero Dawn, you would like days gone because it has that feel um to it it's like plant gathering you get you kill the bad guys you get stuff for them the map stays static the matic the map is smaller than i feel like horizon zero dawn is but you keep it feels like again post-apocalyptic you're going through the same areas but you're discovering different things so it feels really good with like that but it's one of those at 3 o'clock in the morning and I want to do one mission because I'm like, oh, what's over this hill? Well, there's another mission. Oh, somebody needs help over here. Let me go help them, you yeah. know. And then you find yourself just gathering plants and then killing those couple enemies. Well, there's a few more over there. Let me kill those. And there's a few more over there. Oh, then what's over this hill? From my outer worlds, pretty much. Yeah, very it very much so. Sucks you in. So Days Gone, I'm really enjoying. Um, I've also I just got for Christmas the uh, new Star Wars game, Fallen Order. Mm-hmm. Um, liking what I'm playing with that. Of course, I'm after I just saw the rise of the Skywalker and I'm like in the star Wars mood very much, very, and so I'm enjoying playing that. I haven't gotten too far in that, but, um, gotta go back to borderlands three. That's the game that I don't know. game I played. Dang it. <laughs> Agent I M and I this. played quite a bit of, um, we have not finished it. The DLCs come out. We participated in the Halloween event. So as far as borderlands three goes, it's everything I wanted it to be so far. Um, just to haven't gotten as far into it. Stories a little is good. We've seen a lot of characters, not everybody that we want to see so far. I'm hoping for, to see a few more. I don't I'm trying to be very careful what I say. I don't want to bring out any spoilers. Yeah. Well, I've got to the third planet. I think that's as far as I've gotten. I we, maybe only be on the second planet. Oh, we, so yeah, we got a couple so we more. We finished Eden Six. I could not tell you the name of yeah. the title. That was one of the things that. So I when I buy it a new PC and stuff along those lines that I wasn't sure if my save transfer or if it was local. Mm-hmm. Found out recently that it, it did transfer, so at least I know my character's there. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was playing with Zoom, so she's my my partner right now for playing it online because um, I have it on PC. So she's the one I'm more like, uh, so we might get back into it and stuff along those lines. We just haven't played when oh. first came out, but then I went through the whole process of I was moving houses and stuff along yeah. those lines. So it was like, I was breaking down a lot of stuff and not worrying about like, and then the game, the computers were being broken down. Yeah, that's so one just, thing you don't uh, think about when you sell a house and then have to move. You don't think, oh, I need to put my saves up to the cloud yeah. or whatever. So just undoing a bunch of stuff. And then it was, when I bought my new PC, then it was transferring everything to the new PC. And then it was like, 
Right. Was that Cloud Sage or was that not Cloud Sage? No, it wasn't Cloud Sage. I was going to be. Yeah. Xbox and then. Well, it's, like, it, it's cloud you, saved. It, that's like, where it's like I I wasn't sure if it, like cloud save was turned on or not. Apparently it was, so I was very excited about that. Um, but some games don't have cloud save, so I just didn't think about that at the time because all I play is PUBG. I know mostly Steam does, but I'm not sure about yeah. Epic Game Store. All I do is play PUBG. That's all I know. <laughs> I had thirteen one thousand three hundred and forty five matches played in six months. I just hit 500 hours over that game, and that's probably nothing to compare 500, to 500, that's it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's, PUBG? Yeah. At 1,700. Yep. <laughs> well, back to Borderlands 3, which yeah, is where we were at. Yeah, where, <laughs> back to what we were talking about. But, um, no, the game was everything I was hoping it would be as, as a huge Borderlands fan from Borderlands 2. Um, the story seems to be really good. I'm enjoying seeing that, like seeing, seeing the characters. A couple of storyline twists I'm not as excited about, but... You know that's what that's what they do. Let's see, we'll see what happens at the end. Um, the gunplay is really good. Um, I will say I've been impressed with the golden keys that you use. You actually get really good loot out that box, which make them actually worthwhile. Because in Borderlands Two, it got to a point where they were just absolutely useless. I'll say one thing I'm kind of sad about though. At least at the start of the game was when Malowin is the like the villain type thing. Is Malowin was the only type of weapon I used in the other part. It's games. So I was like, oh well, There's so many different, that there's so many different aspects about Dang the game, um, and Agent M can elaborate more if I miss anything. But like, you use the same type weapon, you'll get more guns. Like if you keep using Malawan, Malawan's going to send you an email that says, "Hey, here's a gun on us," you know, and it's a Malawan yeah. type weapon. There's a lot more different perks per manufacturer that that distinguish. Like before, your, all your manufacturers were different and they did different things. Well, the difference I feel like is more substantial like the torg weapons are all explosive in a big way um malawan weapons the what is it malawan does you remember they're more elemental, elemental damage. they're elemental you have a secondary function on a lot of guns where you can flip from like uh well they're real like yes yeah, game you can go from corrosive to lightning damage you can do uh, you can go from single shot to full auto which if you're doing single shot it zooms in like a sniper rifle it full auto it doesn't zoom in but it goes full like i said full auto so you have different quiet things like that. Um, there's different objectives in each planet that we have to do. Crew challenges. Crew challenges, which are fun to do. Not going to lie, some of them were better in the beginning because you got better loot. And as we've kind of found going through, like they're not kind of worth doing about midway through the game because they're just <laughs> there's nothing. Other than the completionist in us, there's no real reason because you're not going to get anything worth anything on it. You want to jump in on this one? It's a good segue. I'll let you take over. I've said I, I was like, are you on your last game? Yeah, that's it. That's why, that why I intentionally was holding Borderlands 3 because we played a good chunk of that together. So I'm going to let Agent M right. continue with Borderlands 3. So now Agent 3. M is going to tell us what she's been playing, I guess, starting with Borderlands 3. Borderlands 3. So now swing the mic her way. <laughs> so the lead up to Borderlands 3, I went back and played the Borderlands pre-sequel and Tales from the Borderlands prior to and we did play the dlc and the dlc on borderlands 2 so i went and did the tales from the borderlands because i heard there were characters from tales from the borderlands in borderlands 3 and i had never done the telltale series so i went back and i did i, I that that whole game which was not bad um very disappointed that it's not the same voice of reese in right, borderlands 3 troy baker is not the the boy um, Troy Baker was saying he wasn't even like contacted about being in, right? Yeah. And then because of something related to union or so, yeah. union unions, he wasn't able to do it. And you can tell. I mean, it's it, it, the claptrap voice. It's not that obvious. I think uh, not as obvious as I thought it was going to be. If you was weren't a told one. it was a different actor, you would you wouldn't exactly know. You're right. They did a really really good job. I'll be with honest, it. I didn't know it was a different guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah there the was claptrap. a whole lot about that in the news before Borderlands Three came but it, out. It quickly got squashed because once you heard the voice, it's like oh well. You really wouldn't notice. And so then I went back and played uh, from start to finish all the Borderlands pre-sequel. Um, Chris and I had started that a long time ago when it was on the 360 and with the moon and the oxygen and everything. It's just not why we are. It, we didn't, we got, we got a quarter of the way in and we yeah, stopped. Yeah, I saw the Borderlands. I, I mean, Handsome Jack being a good guy was weird to play that. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. That but got me to the it point changed I very, very much so by the end of the game. Yeah, so, but just, I um, I so I did play that from beginning to end, and then the DLC came out. 
Commander Lilith's DLC for Borderlands 2, which Chris and I played and timed that to finish it like literally like three days before Borderlands 3 mm-hmm. came out. Um, and then Borderlands 3 we got on September 13th and we played a lot and then we stopped. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, um, well, the, map, the maps on Borderlands are 3 gigantic. are massive. So, one of the reasons we, you know, kind of started doing some other things was just because it's fun. I'm enjoying it, but it's the fact that when you get to a new, it's like, oh god, we got to a new area. I'm like, it's 11 o'clock. And you I guys I are, yeah. I don't have it in me. I was like, just because, you know, we have to uncover the whole map mm-hmm. to see what we yeah. have. We have to do every square inch. If there's a little to. bit of black. I have a question. Did you guys ever play You play The Witcher 3? I haven't. haven't I have it downloaded. Any. I haven't played it yet. I haven't played it yet. Okay, I'm just cause, because the map is huge and there's always a bunch of question marks for you to go through. But anyway. Which is the reason I haven't gotten to play it because I want to make sure I have time Random to devote question. to have it. Have you started the Netflix series? Oh, I finished it already. You have, is it any good? It looks good. It looks really good. Um, what they're trying to do... I've only read one of the books and that was like a short stories that uh the author put together um but the netflix series i think feels pretty good to the the books and the content of the books so that and the game of course, of course the game is based on the books also but i like i like it a lot i know a lot of people have problems because they're doing a bunch of stories at different timelines and stuff like that but it all catches up at the end of the season so you're good so <laughs> that so Anyway, the um, so that I so I played everything up until Borderlands, just like when Kingdom Hearts three came out, and I played every Kingdom Hearts game up until. Okay, but there was like eighteen. Games. I know, and I <laughs> I played every one of them. I did Dream Drop Distance. Okay. I did one, one and a half, Spanned two. Across like four systems. Chain of Memories. I did uh, Birth by Sleep. I did every That's one dedication. of them, and I finished them right before three came out, and I beat three with all achievements on three. So there's DLC that just came out for that as well. So. So she's done before, before Kingdom Hearts three came out. You played all of the other ones again. Yes. Wow, that's dedication. I timed it. <laughs> I knew Kingdom Hearts was coming out in March, so I started in like November of the prior year, and <laughs> four I I skimmed four through. Prep. <laughs> but see, like Chain of Memories, like I had played Kingdom Hearts one and two already, mm-hmm. but Chain of Memories, Birth by Sleep, Dream Drop Distance, one point five, three sixty five. Slash two days later, I played all of those. It's great that you have a series. That's a lot. I didn't know there were that many. I knew there were a lot of games. Well, if you get the DS, there was like four. But if you get the so, what I did is I got the PS3 released. You know the collection. So two and a half was two plus Birth by Sleep plus Dream Drop Distance or something Mm. like that. So So, so, (laughs) two two and a half. Yeah, and so I got one and a half and two and a half which included <laughs> the extra games and then dlc just came out and i'm going to get the beginning or it's getting ready to come Speaking out for it Final Fantasy. Oh. another one <laughs> no i'm just i know you're going to talk about it i know you're excited about it I, i'm a huge final fantasy 7 fan and the mic i'm a huge final fantasy 7 fan it's one of my favorite all-time games period but this episodic crap is I can't. I'm not excited about it. I want to play it, but I want to play a complete game. I feel like it's a complete tease and a letdown to say, "Hey, here's the first part of the game that you've been waiting 20, 30 years for." It's going to be three parts. I heard. Right, three parts. So here's the first part, just enough to piss y'all. I'm like, I'm curious to see what. I mean, I know you guys aren't into Final Fantasy. Just but I'm Midgar. Like, just think about like whatever your favorite game is, like on an old system. Like they're the trying to stretch it out and drag and, it out. And they're redoing it. It's comp- like you're so excited about it. They're redoing it. New graphics, new everything, new gameplay, and you're so excited about it. And then they say, "But we're only going to give you one third of it now because we're going to stretch that off." Doesn't that wouldn't that piss you off? Yeah. Sounds like Halo 2's campaign, but anyways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my. Oh wow, memories. It's like you're gonna. I'm not gonna. Sorry, that you just. I mean, you said. You hit a nerve. <laughs> I didn't even say Final Fantasy. Well, I know, I know, I know you're looking forward to it, and this was a discussion that we had before. Like, how could I not be looking forward to it? It's not. I'm looking forward to whatever, however many years it takes, where I can buy the complete game. Okay. Um. 
So the other things I've played, Tim gifted me with Game Pass earlier this year. So I also have delved into a few games um, like Darksiders. I got awesome the War Mastered Edition and I played that from start to finish. Awesome Actually, Dark- Darksiders 1 and 2 were free on and, Epic Game Pass like a couple days ago. Yeah, and mm. Darksiders game 2. Store. Jesus, game Pass. <laughs> you did it again. Game <laughs> Pass is always going to be associated together, apparently. I can't say Game <laughs> Store. Epic Game Store. It was free on Epic Game Store like a couple days ago. So I also got so Darksiders 2. I don't think so. De- definitive yeah, Edition. Definitive. <laughs> definitive. That, 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 that's fun to say. I played that one from start to finish, and then I bought Darksiders 3 just in time for Darksiders 3 to also come to Game Pass. Wasn't there, like, another Darksiders game that isn't like a Darksiders Well, there's game one though? getting ready to come out. There's a new one coming it's out this year, one. and uh, the fourth three one... was a little the, off. Yeah, the third one is uh, uh, Fury. You play mm-hmm. as Fury. The one getting ready to come out is Co-op. That's Wrath. Really? But you also have... Someone else that you're playing with, it's war. It's war. You get to war, play war and wrath. It's a co-op campaign. First time. It comes out in February. First time in the Dark Siders series that has a. It's going to have co-op. That's co-op cool. campaign in the Dark Siders. The Dark Siders yeah, series. That Siders. Dark Siders series, which is something I've heard of in that. Very much excited for that one. Um, the hack and flash game. <laughs> I've also I also played Crackdown Three, with with Chris. I went back and played all of Overcooked 1 and beat everything with three stars, Overcooked 2. Final Fantasy X, I bought that because it came out on the Xbox three or Xbox One. Um, y'all are laughing over there. Sorry. I don't know what y'all are laughing We're not about. allowed to, like, we can't get any store right. Xbox 360 is the Epic Game that... Pass store. We're all over the place today. I um, need a nap. I'm I, also, a promise. I also played Fallout 3, <laughs> The Wolf Among three? Us. Yes, three? Yes, I went back to 3. Because never it, beaten that game? I had never even started it. Fallout 4 was the first Fallout game I ever played. Oh, wow. Oh, I also played Far Cry 3. You did. You got stuck on that for a while. Because it um, came free with... Um, with Far Cry... 5? Five. Five. Oh, yeah, I think. Yeah, because we got New Dawn, That's but we really didn't good. get that. Yeah. Um, I did The Wolf Among Us. All of no, those. Tell, tell okay. Um, and then um, The Witness. So I've been playing that. And then We Happy Few. So I got We Happy Few off the Game Pass, and I am two-thirds of so finished. what we're trying to say is thank you for the Game Pass. <laughs> You're yes, welcome. Yes, because I've beaten two out of the three campaigns in, in We Happy Few, so it's it's three people you play as, and I've beaten the first two, so should be beaten. So no, well, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in, again, it's on, again, on Game Pass. Shocker, we are a fan of Xbox Game Pass, and the I, I appreciate the fact it's also on PC. Yeah, um, definitely. The PC version is actually cheaper. It's like five bucks a month. There's right well, technically less games, you know me, I'm doing all the side the missions, so yeah, it's exactly. taking quite a bit longer to play. If I didn't do the side missions, I could have beaten it by I now. Be, I may be interested in trying to download it. I mean, just, I just want to, like, in Game Pass, I would have spent 60 bucks on Gears of War, Yep. 60 bucks on Outer Worlds, and Halo. Yeah. I, I, it's one of things, it's like, I know I'm going to play Halo when it comes out so this year. Much, I mean, and, yeah, exactly. Unless it's going to be a $60 game, it's like so a Halo game coming out yeah. this year? Yeah, I don't know anything that's coming out this year. So. Well, the brand new console will be coming out this year, so yes. Ah, new Halo. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Infinite will still be on the one, but the better version will be on the next console or PC. If you have a PC that can crank everything to Epic, mm-hmm. like I have. Anyways, continue. That's it. That's all the games. Oh, we've reached the end. Okay. And Halo Wars. Well, I mean, the Halo Wars is staple. Halo Wars goes without saying. I, it, Which, we always you know, play Halo. Plug out there again that the Prophet is still not on Halo Wars Two. I don't know. Justice for the Prophet hashtag. <laughs> hashtag. Justice Long for the live Prophet. regret. Just saying, everybody else got their own character on Halo Wars Two except the Prophet. Swing the mic back in front of you. Just saying, that's not fair. Not right. <laughs> this is a side note. I'm going to make a. Hashtag thing to throw up on the screen when he says that. <laughs> the only one the three, to three, not three, be down. on Halo Wars 2. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so we've now talked about everything we've played. And so now does anybody want to talk about their New Year's resolutions for gaming? So like, for example, so we talked about like kind of thing. It's like a TV thing. Um, like mine is, I, I looking back on the games I've played in for 20 19 and stuff along those lines i realized i was like i didn't play any campaign stuff i haven't been a lot of story campaign stuff i've started some things but i've never beaten stuff 
Um, I've been strictly mainly PUBG, Shocker, way too much. Um, or Fortnite or something along those lines, but I haven't really dedicated time to playing like an actual single player stuff. I've gotten really into streaming, which I really enjoy. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Annihilator Method. <laughs> and um, I've met a lot of people actually through streaming and stuff along those lines. Some Hopefully some newer friends I made this year who found me. Uh, shout out to a website called PUBG Report. It's so, a fun, fun website. So do you, if you play PUBG. About, have I talked about that thing? Right? No, I don't think so. So if you go to PUBG.Report, you can type in your username, and it will scour any stream that where your username has interacted with another streamer. So if Andrew's streaming, and I was streaming, and I killed Andrew, it finds his stream video and marks where he... Um, where we cross paths mm-hmm. and it'll find my stream and it'll sync them up and you can actually watch both videos in time to see his play gameplay and my gameplay and how we cross paths interesting yeah it's, it's cool. really fun when especially when you come across somebody like i've had some guys call me cheaters it's great <laughs> i've had uh i scared a guy like he was like he was running through this field open field he's looking left he's looking right he's trying to figure out what he's going he gets into the jeep that he's running to as soon as he got in the jeep boom i rough. sniped him in the head and he jumps in the street. He goes, oh, 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 I got to watch that back. And then he's like watching the replay back. He's like, I don't know. It looks okay. I guess he's not cheating. Or And another one, I, I sniped a guy in the head 490 meters. Nice. When he climbed into a buggy, I shot him in the head with an SLR. Nice. <laughs> and when he's watching it back, he goes, no way. No way. He's like, he shot me through a tree. There's no way he did that. I definitely, when I'm watching the video, you can tell I, I surprised me. I was tracking him. I knew where the buggy was, and so I put my crosshair in between the oh, tires. Oh, so it was moving? He was getting ready. It was starting oh, okay. up. Okay. And so I got put my crosshair right between the tires, aimed up a little bit, and fired. And when <laughs> nice. I hit him in the head, I was like, oh! <laughs> That's how you do that. He's, <laughs> that man's <is> mad. <laughs> um but it's actually a really cool website, but actually some, some friends I made um, through that this year... Um, they actually found me through PUBG where they probably crossed huh. past a couple times. They found me through that website. I finally got my revenge on one of them. They killed me like three times. They actually killed me and you. Oh, really? One time. Um, and so at least it's funny that it's like, I got my revenge once. So it's That's one to cool three. Uh, but it's a really cool website, website and stuff. But anyways, you? my my New Year's goal, sidetrack, is to play more single player stuff i like to complete some things so the last campaign campaign i completed from beginning to end is probably life is strange but one that was actually like a full gameplay not story-based stuff like a telltale thing was spider-man in like september of 2018 um so there's some games i want to play like i'm curious about outer worlds game pass is on free i Mm -hmm. i don't know how well i'll do on that but then i have a playstation i never did beat uh new horizon horizon zero 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 dawn that's a fun i never beat um the last of us and so there's games that I know I should play I that... that... I, couldn't, I couldn't play Last of Us because it aggravated me. <laughs> the Last of Us um, 2 comes out this year. Exactly. It's I one know, thing, like yeah. there's, there's games I know that I I want to play and I've enjoyed them. It's just saying... you got to pull yourself away from the PUBG. Playing, right, exactly. i got to tell myself, stop playing PUBG, go play this game, or take a few hours before I know I'm going to play PUBG and play the single-player game and then go back to PUBG. I'm not going to um, lie, part of the, the appeal of Game Pass has been that it's on the hard drive, so that I'm like, eh, button click, I'm playing it. Mm-hmm. As lazy as this sounds, getting up to go find my disc and put it in <laughs> That's has kept I, me from I, playing digital, a lot of games. I'm not going like, to lie, it has kept me from playing a lot of games. Like the only discs I have are from collector's editions, and it's like, I have to put a game in if I want to play this game now? But yeah, there are some, some things. But, and then it's the other goal for me this year is I'd like to get more about producing more stuff for my youtube channel um youtube.com slash annihilator method i did was able to change it from target brand to 552 because oh, we're not that anymore okay. um i was allowed to change it to <laughs> annihilator method so if you go to youtube.com slash annihilator method it actually comes to the channel which probably like a spartan is sitting there still gets watched still oh yeah oh yeah i've, I've watched it every once in a while i've had Terry um, loves it <laughs> i so awesome. like somebody made a comment like two months ago. I was just looking at the thing like two months ago. Somebody said like like oh my childhood and like we're really happy and stuff along those lines, making a comment on the video from like, and it's like this video. And there's somebody else was like, wow, this video is 13 years old. And it's like, 
Yeah, it's about, it's gonna hit thirteen years old in June. That's crazy. Um, but I was able to change it to another to method so I could brand it more because I'm the one that's writing it. That's oh, my yeah. content and stuff along those lines yeah. now. Um, but it's like I'm, I post a video here or there, and it's and um, so I'm working on things to to post more. Um, one of the things I want to do is I was watching some stuff of like. 2019 highlight videos of like the highlights from 2019 of like basically I do work and, and Choco Taco and Shroud and all these ones have the videos. And I was like, oh, I'll do one. I went back and got every clip from my Twitch channel for the last for 2019. I had 176 clips. And I started putting them all in order. I got about halfway through. And I was like, I'm going to take a break. And I saved it and I went to load back up the channel. Uh, I loaded back up my profile and it freaked out and crashed. I lost about three and a half hours of work. Annoying. Three and a half hours of your life gone. <laughs> yeah, so it's like I figured out the problem is I got to see if hopefully there's a way for me to fix it so I can save what I did. If not, I got to go back and redo everything, but at least I know what I did. Uh, but my goal is basically to try and do more for my channel, at least like once a month. I like to post a video of some kind. Like, I don't know if I'll do like a Twitch highlights little clip, you know, highlight videos. Like, you know, it might be a couple clips from the month that fits what i did and it might be a two minute two three minute video and stuff along those lines but that's my goal personally for 2020 andrew well, i guess since i yeah um it's sort of like a similar thing i want to beat two games before i buy another game now the only caveat is i've technically already bought cyberpunk <laughs> and doom eternal <laughs> so those are exempt but uh other than that i want to try to beat uh two games i'm hoping to do that with control and fire emblem because okay. fire emblem I've, that's on the switch and i've been on the road with family because of holidays and stuff like that so i've pretty much gotten a good start on that and then control i think i can juggle between those two so let's see if i can hold myself to that but because you look at my steam library and all my like libraries for the different consoles it's like i barely play any of these things well, i and have I, I have games these. all over the place, and it's like, I should probably play something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I want to try to cut back on that. Like, just buy games just because, oh, it's on sale or something like that. It's like, I have to, like, beat at least two games. Are you a game, game hoarder? You should see my Steam. I have... My Steam library is stupid, and then it's the... There is one thing in the I Steam have the, store I want. I have the Uplay. <laughs> you don't have a Steam library. Huh? You actually have, have the Uplay library. The hardcover nice. books right there. <laughs> but it's like, I also have Uplay Game Pass, so like, the new Witch, uh, new Watch... Watch Dogs is going to come out this year and stuff along those lines. So I'm kind of mm-hmm. curious about that. And so I have Game Pass for Game Pass. You plays Game Pass yeah. um, for that ability to be able mm-hmm. to play those games and stuff along those lines. So mm-hmm. it's I know there's stuff that's coming out that's single player related that I want to dedicate and I know I want to play. That's me. That's like, not I want. I, these are games I know I want to play. Like it's Cyberpunk. Like, I have Cyberpunk. I know I want to play Cyberpunk when that comes out because it looks really oh my cool. Goodness. Yes. But Has anybody played Death Stranding yet? No. That's not a game for me. That game, I was like, nope. But I pre- <laughs> team I pre- are weird. I'm no. I'm I appreciate. I no. Fuck you did. I think it was yeah. Cyberpunk. It was Cyberpunk. Definitely, well, I did Cyberpunk. Definitely. I thought you were talking about Death Stranding. Well, yeah, it was. But I thought somebody here had pre-ordered it. Yeah, I, appreciate, I have no idea what it's about. <laughs> I appreciate well, I no it's idea. there, but it's definitely not a game for it's me. Like, I mean, I, I I appreciate what Kojima does and stuff like this, which actually is coming for PC soon. Um, still not gonna touch it. But I still probably <laughs> won't even look at the game. Um, Brett, do your New Year's gaming resolution, you have one for me? Uh, yeah, pretty much what Andrew was saying, just finish some games. Like, I don't have nearly as many games as he does, but I currently have, like, six games that I'm in the middle of playing. Which Come is, back to the fold and actually play with your friends a little yes, bit. Yes, yes. Uh, those, those are two There's things. There's a goal for you. Which I've been doing a lot more of that, you've got, like you've the last. Much, yeah. much better. Now, granted, your work schedule has been a big, big. Deal. If 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 I was going to try to get eight hours of sleep a night, I would be going to bed at eight, <laughs> and you guys don't get on until nine at the earliest. Well, I mean, Agent What's M. What's the sacrifice I'm willing to make? Agent M. <laughs> Agent M could uh, get up, maybe could get on sooner, but she does a lot of work from home. Um, or working late. Or working late. That's by her choice. Uh, but. Uh, yeah, I'd like to. I, I'm. I need to sit down and make myself finish some games. Um, trying to trying to get through Assassin's Creed Odyssey, but it's so good. Um, so good. So much to do in it. Um, 
I also want to, this isn't quite gaming related, but I do want to get more sleep this year because uh, I've been going on about two and a half to five hours, if I'm lucky, of sleep for about a month and a half, and I'm pretty tired. So i got to throw that in there somewhere. Yeah, I was like, probably get some sleep. Good, yeah. Yeah, I could actually probably go to sleep right now. <laughs> Don't. Like right now. Yeah, that's not. I have uh, a monster in the fridge. I'm going to have to crack that open here as soon as we're done recording. Sounds like a plan. Um, uh, Chris, what you got for me? Uh, very similar. Just I want to complete some games. I mean, that's one reason I picked back up on Far Cry 3 because that was one of those games. I'm like, okay, there's no reason for me not to finish this game. Um, and unfortunately, <laughs> the it seems like the series has suffered from that same problem. Like if you do all the side quests, if you do all the missions, you don't even get halfway through the game and you max out on absolutely everything. And you're overpowered. You just roll so through overpowered. Everything. So I'm, all I'm doing is trying to complete missions and I keep forgetting, like I don't need to kill everybody because I get nothing. I'm getting absolutely nothing except for money for ammo, <laughs> whatever yeah. ammo I'm using. So I'm trying to bruiser my way through it, but uh, we still haven't, uh, I want to beat that uh, Far Cry uh, New Dawn. We need to. I want to. I want to complete some of the games that Agent M and I have started, and then of course there are some single player games that I'm really enjoying. But it's like you go through a lull there. There's like nothing to play, and then it's feast or famine. Then all of a sudden you got five games that you want to play. You start on with, and I'm not gonna lie. I said I probably would be a much further along on some of these things, but with Game Pass, I'm like can't help yourself i'm like <laughs> i've down and on the other side of the coin i've downloaded a several games that i'm so grateful that i did not waste the money to buy i tried them i gave a good shot you know a couple weeks a couple hours each week you know tried and i'm like you know what i'm just not liking the gameplay i'm not liking the story or whatever it is so i'm not going to force myself to go through it because i paid 50 dollars or 30 dollars yeah. for the game i'm like it's on game pass click and delete but i'm like it's Game Pass has saved me a whole lot of money, a whole lot of time, but I've also gotten a lot more games on Game Pass and enjoyed a lot more games and will continue to enjoy a lot more games. So I really didn't think it would... I figured I would like it, but I didn't think I would like it as much as I have. So I'm very appreciative of it. So the title of this, of this episode is going to be We Love Game Pass. We Love Game yeah. Pass. <laughs> uh, now, Agent M, what is your 2020 goals? It's pretty everything. much the same thing as you guys. Although I did... There was one other thing I wanted to mention that I had played. I did create a Steam account. All right, right. And right. Um, bought RimWorld. I don't know if any of I've, I've bought it, but I've watched so many hours I have of people watched, playing it. And a friend of mine has a YouTube channel, and he played it, and so he turned me on to it. And it is literally the biggest time suck. I start playing it, and I turn and look, and five hours have passed. Do you know because have you heard of RimWorld? I've heard of it. I don't know what it is. So I I just started my second colony because my first colony, I put 75 hours into it. And I actually built the ship and I, I took off. Oh, really? I actually beat the game. Um, everybody else's playthroughs I've watched, they've been overrun by mega spider infestations mm-hmm. or, or a variety of other things that have caused it. So if for y'all who don't know, it's just a sandbox game. You crash land on a planet with three colonists that have certain skills and it's survive. You have to build. What type of gameplay is it? It's like a Don't Starve, if you know what that looks like. But I mean, it's like first it's person, like, or is it like no? A, it's like, um, it's your down. overhead looking, down, and, okay. and it's down. these yeah, little, and you zoom quality. in, and you have very little quality, and you basically you have nothing but some basic supplies to start with, and you have skills, and then as you play, you have random events that will appear, raids will attack you, you get hit by. I guess I had volcanic winter nuclear fallout hit a cold snap and then you have to keep your colonists from breaking so their mental status so you have to constantly you have to make sure you have food you have to have recreation you have to have beauty in your it's rooms it's, it's very much sims it's like a colony type it's very much like sims yeah. and so okay yeah i know what it is i've, yeah. I've seen this played and and i played my first colony and and like i said i had 14 colonists and I had some random events where Yorkies joined me, and then they all started having puppies, and I can't, like, literally six Yorkies joined me, and I couldn't keep the food <laughs> up. Yorkies. Because, and then the tiny, a baby Yorkie is, like, so tiny on the screen, it was adorable, but then I couldn't keep track, and then they were eating all my food, and so I couldn't keep my colonists fed. 
And so it's things like that, that you have these <laughs> random things that happen. And so my, uh, ultimately the, you can win if you build a ship and then you can take off. So I built a ship and then when you build, win. yeah, it's the win condition. Yeah. Um, but when you build the reactor, it warns you that you're going to get hit with, with so many attacks that you will, that it's a ferocity you've yet to see for the next 15 days. Are you ready to do this? <laughs> so I had to like build up my defenses and, you know, you build turrets and, and spike traps and, and then you have psychic ships that show up and giant centipedes that are attacking you. Like it's random things. It's just, the, I don't know, I enjoy it, and I played it on my PC, and I played it, so it's the only thing I've played on my PC, uh, but I now have a Steam account, and uh, I started a new colony after I won that, because every she's time gonna, I watch... She's going to be one of us, Andrew, very soon. Every, every time I watch one of the You're going to look at the play, amount of money you spent on Steam and just cry. <laughs> well, I, so I, I bought my first game on Steam, so I, th- I forgot to mention that, because that's a huge thing that I've been playing, especially the last couple months. I think the, the winter sale is still going on right now, it isn't is, it? But it's... Yeah. I highly recommend it if it's something you... If anybody's interested, because... I want game, of I want Of course, to like, of all of the games in my library on Steam, it's like, I bought it on sale because I know I like it, but I haven't touched it yet. It's so much fun. Oh, I have games that like, I bought, like, a, a year ago, and I look at my Steam library, every well, time I, I bring three, up my library, have... and I'm like, right up my... I bought the Bioshock Trilogy. Yeah, the, I don't remember with, uh, Like, the that. Ultimate Palace and stuff, because I wanted to play all of them again. Bioshock. And I was like, I mean, I'd really like yeah, to play some Bioshock right. again. And it's just like, I keep forgetting about that I have that game. So it's like, dang it. But <laughs> but just back to as far as 20, 2020 goals, specifically, I want to play Assassin's Creed and get back into that. And yes. then some of the new games that are coming out and finish up some stuff. Origins. I can't I can't talk about Syndicate because I downloaded well, I it free with Unity gold. I got to finish Unity first and then go to Syndicate. I haven't. Then Origins yeah. and Odyssey. I haven't played Syndicate. Tim, I know you love Syndicate. I love Syndicate. Uh, Evie was one of my favorite people. I have it. I was really annoyed when I had to play the other guy. I have, <laughs> syn- I have Syndicate free with gold. I got it Jacob free with gold like bro. last year or something like that. I uh, haven't played it. But Origins is, fa- is pretty darn good. Uh, and odyssey is fantastic but i will i will throw this plug in there for you agent m there is a spot in odyssey there's one spot in odyssey took me 30 minutes to i just had to like by the next podcast here's the goal for you guys i want you guys to finish all the assassin's creed games and then so we can stop talking about assassin's creed i don't care about assassin's creed you know the question by by next podcast is to the definition is when it's, it's a, a fantastic series. Creed. It's awesome. It is not awesome. It's there. She is about to punch you. <laughs> Out of all the games. Yes. No. I've played one. I've played two. Oh, I've know. played Brotherhood, this is Revelations, this is Rogue, fantastic. Three, Black Flag. You okay, me? I will say this. <laughs> Playing the Assassin's Creed games to 100% completion be a little over I the top yeah, that I, would never happen i did it and i but, got all the flags and all of one and two i got all of the achievements too however yeah, you can have fun doing that no nope. they are origin origins and odyssey are really really good games just because you don't like a game doesn't mean odyssey was actually one of the about. you talk about it but you talk about it every podcast uh, every That's podcast a year ago every podcast last year you talked about it <laughs> and how many do we go talking about <laughs> destiny yeah, was... <laughs> oh, you're I right, should have found. Right. I should not hey, have oh. found that as funny as I edit did. That. Edit that. I said. You need to edit said that. Agent M's name. Uh, damn Both it. of you did. Both of you did. Oh man. <sighs> I should not have found that as funny as I did. <laughs> but jeez. Anyways, uh, this might be the longest podcast recording we've I don't had think so. it's not we're right we've up there had, there play, there's plenty of destiny things that have destiny happened. has gone for a while that's true on some episodes and hopefully we won't talk about destiny until destiny 3 comes out yeah, but right. we will say destiny 3 i will 100 percent guarantee that would probably be game uh crossplay i'd now be cool I that cool i'd be crossplay i'd be cool that a, cool. crossplay is not limited by sony saying you have to get approval from us. They've now basically come out and said it's up to the developer to allow it, which is why Call of Duty was one of the first ones to do crossplay. And I think crossplay is going to be a thing moving forward. I think Minecraft actually just um, 
did a thing where they've... all of them play together now. Yeah. Like PlayStation finally got included with everyone else, so it's everything. Yeah. Terry has been playing Minecraft with people on the PC. Yep. So it's my nieces it's... and nephews. They're playing the crap out of Minecraft on like an Amazon tablet, which is surprising, but it actually runs pretty well. But yeah, so uh, H&M's going to become a PC gamer this year. Next podcast, I'll have a PC for. Considering I spent way too much money on another PC, but I have a 2080 Ti graphics card now and a 9900. So much money. <laughs> and I, I've been shopping for like an RTX I9, cards. It's like I can't. I have an i9 9900K uh, processor in there too. I uh, have no idea was, what you're saying. It was way, way Expensive, too much money. That's what he's saying. Are you even speaking English? Like my my PC now is way more powerful than the new consoles will be this year. So. I'm fine. That's a, I, I run PUBG at 180 to 240 FPS. Yeah, it's I get, fantastic. Yeah, I get about 120. So. You don't understand FPS until you experience it, and then you understand. And then you go, oh. You have to have the right monitor, too. But that's more than whole, 60 This is FPS. like a whole rabbit yeah, we can hole. Whole, we can go, go down the PC game <laughs> you know, hole there as far as monitors. I don't monitors think you need, and... you need to worry about FPS in RimWorld, though. Yeah, RimWorld, I think you'll be okay. It works okay on my current computer. Yeah. Which is 10 it's years old. My current computer is Windows 7. And I'm getting the warning that it's out of support as of January 14th. Yeah. So I need to decide what to do. And I literally bought this soon after I moved into this apartment. So it's almost 10 years old. Wow. So I'm due for a new So computer. in other words, RimWorld, not very graphically intense. It's not. <laughs> it's not. If you watch any of the... I've watched a lot. Of I like just watch a lot. Awesome. It's fun to watch streamers play yes. that game. But anyways, we've reached the end. We're at an hour and a half. <laughs> Of Which just, is kind of impressive. Yeah, honestly, for how long we've been not yeah. having a podcast, I think we. I always love the fact that we kind of go in these episodes being like, eh, maybe we'll, I don't know how long this is going to be. We'll just talk about what we played and stuff like that. Next Two thing you know, an later. hour and a half has gone by, and we're like, maybe we should stop now. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways. Yes, because I have to use the bathroom. Okay, so, so on that no, I, yeah, I'm yeah, just, but I just he's, get on, I'm he's right on that here. side of the camera. <laughs> yeah. I'm he's great. on that side of the camera. Uh, so anyways we'll finish up here uh, thank you for listening you can follow us on twitter I am twitter.com slash vh underscore annihilator andrew is metalblade85 brett is muddauber24 and we have Hank Nova 316 or Ludacris 316 which actually, I saw a, twitch, a tweet from Ludacris 316 which I didn't know he actually even had twitter installed on his phone I didn't either but he made a comment to something and I was like was that an actual tweet by <laughs> I the the Christmas camera shutting off. Oh. It's gone. Ah. Wow, wow. It just went off. Literally. Pretty sure that means we should Dang probably it. end it. All right. When so the episode over. camera cuts off on its own, it's probably about the time. Yeah. yeah. That battery was supposed to last for two hours. I was just reading the comments on your party like a Spartan. Oh. <laughs> There's a comment. Someone says, "I remember four years ago when I was dying to join this clan. I bet you know I could beat all of them now, no problem. Wish I could give them the four v four they wanted." Yeah, sure. Okay. He com- that was his comment from seven years ago. Well, that was seven years ago. But it's funny. That was when Halo was still I played a, a little bit of the combat, all, like uh, the anniversary collection on PC. All these people PC. talking about I, how badly they wanted to join your clan. Oh, they were all about wanting to join That's the clan. And stuff like that. But the biggest thing was like in the in the video of us talking like, you know, we're Vahoma, we'll break everything. It's like, you guys forget. It's like, it's a, it's a, like a rap video. And this is our version of talking hard. Yeah. Like we this are, wasn't so you know, like, smack. This it's was like a video. It's right. It's it's part of the video. It's like that's what you're supposed to say. Like I'm tough and all this other stuff. It's like that was part of the joke. As far yeah. it's like people took that very we seriously. Make another video. Like, we but make a video. what was really funny about that was though, it's the one kid where I made a video where I beat the crap out of him, and I got to post a video on him about how he sucks on YouTube. Fine. What's the one thing that would bring everybody back? And that one had multiple. Yeah. It has a couple so thousand views. If you had to pick nice. one for everyone, you a know. Song? What, what game would you do it for the parody oh, of? Destiny uh, is too divided. Yeah. I mean, what what would be a united game Maybe that all of us... Because PUBG is very one-sided as far as who plays, and Assassin's Creed obviously is one-sided, as well as and Gears. I'm just tired of hearing y'all talk about it. Because <laughs> <laughs> you say the same thing. Assassin's Creed Unity, Assassin's Creed Unity, Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed. I'm like, what? What's new? 
At least with Destiny, I had other gripes where I had new things to talk about. <laughs> that was new things to be mad there's about. There's nothing the new about Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed, there's not a new DLC. At least when I went off about Destiny, it was new DLC. There was new something <laughs> new to talk about. With Assassin's Creed, time. it's the same Assassin's Creed as it was the last time. Except there's new games. Syndicate, uh, Unity, it's the same Syndicate, it's the same Unity. <laughs> I've been trying to end this episode for like last 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, we were officially done. I, no, it's still recording, we're still going. I haven't, finished, no video. I haven't finished the outro, but just because the video is off doesn't mean like we <laughs> stopped. I'm just going to have to make a screen now that says the battery died on the camera because I didn't have it plugged in because we never go this long. Uh, anyways, thank you for listening. If you made it this far, more power to you. I, I don't thank we you. We appreciate if you made it this you far. Made it this if you made it this far, you made it farther than the camera. If you made it this far, please just hit the subscribe button at this point. Um, I'm live on Twitch pretty much every night. Twitch.tv slash Annihilator Method. I mainly play PUBG, but hopefully I'll be playing some more single player stuff. So stop by and say hi. Actually say hi in the chat when you watch. Looking at a certain person named Agent M. Uh, <laughs> Andrew has a Twitch account and has streamed once in like the last year. That was a while ago. Yeah, Twitch. Like a test TV. stream. It was probably a doom because I can't get enough of that game. But twitch.tv slash metalblade eighty five. Uh, we do stream. So, anyways, Chris, we're done. Say bye to the bye to the camera bye. that's not on. Bye to the camera that's not on. I'm waving at something that's not there. <laughs> uh, uh, follow us on Twitter. It's also home underscore podcast. All that fun stuff. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. I actually like the video. That'd be great. If you made it this far, you clearly like us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So just hit the like button. It, it supposedly helps. I don't know how YouTube algorithms work. Or, uh, I, don't I heard know. comments help too, maybe. Maybe make a comment. Yes, make a comment. I will respond to your comment. I promise. If you make a comment in this video. Uh, thank you for listening. Have a good one. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. I'm not going to wave because there's no camera. <laughs> I'm still waving. <laughs> I'm still waving. <laughs>